There are loads of different lighting kits for official sets, but what if you want to light up your LEGO mocks? Welcome to my channel and in this video I try to answer that question. A few months ago La Lightgo asked me to review a lighting kit. Now I really only do mocks and they still wanted to send a kit for review. So I took a look at their website and thought this one looked useful for the types of builds that I make. Thank you to La Lightgo for providing the sample. I must make it clear that all thoughts about this kit are my own. I opted for the Diagon Alley lighting kit which turned up in this smart black box. Let me show you how I turn this dark castle scene into this nighttime diorama. Now inside the box is a sturdy Ziploc bag containing all the components to light up Diagon Alley which is separated into six bags, four of them are numbered. The two unnumbered bags contain a small battery box with USB connection and a USB converter to link it up to a six port board ready to plug in your display. The battery box requires three AAA cells and on the side is an on off switch. I emptied out the four numbered bags to find loads of different sized plates with LEDs underneath. These non-official parts are linked together with wires in different combinations and colours. So I tested each one to see if it would fit with each of my chosen mocks. I have to point out that the non-official parts fit really well with my Lego and the different sizes of LED plates could fit into all sorts of spaces. It's recommended you attach the LEDs to ceilings but there are a few opportunities to experiment with red LEDs providing a nice glow to fireplaces. Now this diorama took me about 90 minutes to fully kit out with LEDs. Let me show you some close-ups. I really like the colours of the lights in this set with a varied and interesting glow from the LEDs. I had loads of fun placing minifigures into the scene and making it come to life. Now on to the pros, cons and final thoughts of getting a kit to light up your mocks. It's clear that adding a lighting kit adds an extra dimension to your LEGO dioramas. It's fun to play with the different effects on offer and this kit in particular has so many components I had nearly half of them left over to use another day. Whilst the kit is well made I think it's fairly fiddly to construct especially with chunky fingers like mine. I suppose that's where tweezers would be handy. Overall I really like this kit and it would make an excellent present for any LEGO fan who is mad about mocks. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you got a lighting kit or are you tempted to get one? Many thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.